The question is, what difference does a larger leaf make, a larger leaf in T? Um, so small versus large, so this is a matter of surface area, so surface area to volume ratio. So if you've got something which is um, uh, chopped up very fine, it's got lots of surface area and very little volume, which means that the, the water, in the case of the tea, the water comes into contact with much more tea than if it was larger. So the result is that with a small leaf, you will get much more strength much more quickly. Um, and one example of this, of course, is a tea bag. So we use a fine leaf tea in a tea bag because we need to be able to extract the flavour and the colour and the richness and the strength nice and quickly. However, with a leaf tea, a large leaf tea, you will generally, I stress the word generally, get a more rounded, sweeter, richer, uh, more subtle flavour. Now, the reason I stress the word generally is because we then um, broach the question of uh, tea quality. There is a misconception that large leaf equals good quality and small leaf equals poor quality. This is not necessarily true. Quality is one thing, leaf size is another thing, and you can have a large leaf tea which is of poor quality and you can have a small leaf tea, including tea bags, which are of good quality. So, as I've often said, look at quality, not leaf size. However, all other things being the same, a larger leaf will take longer to brew and give you a more interesting, um, fuller, uh, rounder, sweeter flavour. I hope that helps.